definitely a very emotional game mm. um and yeah people put so many hours of their time and life into this so it is frustrating oh, you yeah. know what i mean oh yeah but it's uh, only natural yeah it looks like we got ant coming up right here we're gonna have this villager or, uh, or it's Luigi, excuse me. I know he does play Villager, yeah. too. Yeah, uh, I was actually talking to Ant not too long ago, and he said, you know what, I don't even care. I'm just going to stick with uh, Villager the whole time. And after seeing uh, Meister put in all that work with a Game & Watch, I mean, seriously, anybody, unless you're Little Mac, yeah, I'm throwing shade at you Little Mac players. Uh, they, yeah, you can do anything with any character, I think. Oh, yeah. Just keep at it. You can always pick somebody up and try them out. Like, this game has so much versatility for, like, character. The whole roster is massive. So, um, yeah, I mean, for, like, uh, Villager, I just feel like he's just very... He's so simplistic in this game to me. Mm. Uh, I think when it comes to his anti-camping tools, that yeah, good. that was really sick. I, uh, honestly... Okay, um, yeah, so he is a Villager. I was super... Sorry. I Literally, <laughs> it was backwards, so I was like, wait. Who's okay. who? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I did have it right, yeah. His Villager. I was about to say, I didn't... I don't remember him having a Luigi, um, but I was like, cool. He picked him Maybe up. Maybe <laughs> he tried does. Him out. He's like, okay, I know how to fight against Villager. Uh, but no, Villager's actually got some good stuff, and I think uh, Luigi's actually really sick in this game. Um, granted, like, he's got, he has, like, peach-like combos. They're, they're really just, they keep you there, and you're going to take 60. It just mm -hmm. doesn't matter what you think. But His zero-to-death combo. <laughs> yeah, he's still got all that stuff like that. Uh, Villager has, I believe, a frame 3 Nair. So he's able to just jump out of stuff and just get out of things. Uh, I could be wrong, but it's still really quick uh, Like at the end of the day. So he does have some good combo breakers. And I think just the fact that Luigi only has the fireball that goes in that one linear direction uh, at the speed that it does. Ant can just jump over and like fireball him. Nice tech, by the way. Yeah, that was a great tech. And also, yeah. we are seeing Ant uh, take... He's utilizing the slingshot so much, which is so important for villagers, because that's like, see, like even off stage, it's definitely a. Ooh. Oh yeah! I, oh my God! Wow, he made that. It's definitely a good, um, you know, like option to apply pressure on your opponent in multiple oh. ways, even uh, baiting them to shield. Wow, the, <laughs> that was actually insane. Yeah, totally got it. I there. did not think that was gonna connect. That was pretty cool. Huh. It's always uh, cool when you get the axe kill or uh, the tree knocking it down. So that's all right, Ant. Definitely uh, showed us what is up with the villager here. Yeah, I think Undead needs to be a bit more, like, in Ant's face. Like, when he rolled in just now. Like, he, you really want to try to, like, concentrate on your rolls and, like, getting them to as minimal an amount as possible. Because, like, when you're playing a character like Luigi or any character that wants to get in your face, uh, the rolls aren't really going to help you with your offense there. Mm -hmm. That was a nice cross-up attempt, though. But, uh, like I said, that Nair from villager is just a thing that happens. Wow, just yeah. did it. Yeah, if you do anything uh, super unsafe, definitely Luigi could get that free up B, which is uh, good damage as well. And it kills pretty early. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Yeah, and you know, even though uh, Undead dropped the combo, he still had a pretty nice little um, thing going off of his stray hits there. Ooh. Okay, that's okay. We run it back. Yeah, definitely try it again. That wasn't a... I think he Ant had the two stock advantage. Uh, I think so. Yeah, I think it was only by two stocks, so definitely... <laughs> Not too bad of a deficit. Excuse me, I had to burp there. Might need to get some water myself again. How dare you? Um, <laughs> I, know, I hate burping on stream. I don't know why. <laughs> so I'm like, nope, let's not do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, let's see. So we're running it on uh, Smashville now, which is nice um, to have that platform to have for to utilize that platform. Mm. But it looks like we're also seeing a character switch. Ganon Dorf. Okay. It. Probably going to see some Doriaz and all that good stuff. Ganon's mm. mad fun. I mean, I hope I do. He's so much fun. Oh, my God. Uh, speaking of footsies, that is a character for footsies. He's scary, but, I mean, I like my heavies in this game, and Ganon's definitely one of the cool heavies for sure. And just his character, like, design, everything about him, he's just mad cool and super fun. Mm. He's great. So let's see uh, what we're going to see um, Undead do here and how he's going to change up his game play. Undead really has to be aware of that Nair that I was mentioning, because it's been getting, especially when you're playing a character like Ganon, like, you don't, you're never really going for, like, these crazy combos anyway. You're going for, like, the three-hit combo that'll do 60 to you. Mm. And, like, if he's able to, like, all you need is one hit with any old character. Ooh. Ganondorf, ooh, ooh, yeah, super dead. Yeah, he was um, super dead, too, because the air dodge. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all you need is one character, and you have frame advantage. All you need to do is just do that and keep that. 
uh, you don't have to go super crazy into the combos because like <laughs> villagers been at kill percent for like the last two years in this game. So another thing we are seeing too um, from Undead is that he's never really just kind of like waiting for Ant to do something first. He's definitely yeah. being super aggressive, mm -hmm. um, with the, not only because he's Ganon, of course, but definitely just being the first to always throw something out. So you see Ant is like running away, waiting for literally just waiting in shield type of thing, right? And yeah. then he'll react to what he's doing. Yeah. So that's another thing too is being aggro sometimes even with these heavy scary characters isn't always a good thing he he's not it. dead though yeah. yeah he's definitely not good <laughs> dead. um but yeah ganon uh or excuse me undead definitely has brought it back though a little bit here yeah ganon's definitely a comeback uh canon for sure Ooh, but he, he just keeps getting clipped by these nares yeah, it, that down <laughs> yeah, like I, I think he needs to be more aware of uh, his like positional advantage or disadvantage or like oh, where yeah. he is on the stage. So, like he'll just go for these these edge guards even when it's not like the right time to do oh, it. Take and carry that. Let's get it. Yeah, that's uh, always uh, super satisfying to see. But yeah, not only that, but Ant definitely has really good spacing as well. He should be fine. Oh. Oh. Yep, yeah, okay, he him there. Yeah, I think he took his jump away. Yeah, I thought he actually had a jump there, but that took it away. <gasps> Ooh, um, wow, he just clipped right through that uh, that Lloyd Rock and said, no, I don't want any of that crap. Oh, get that out of here. Yeah, he read his get up, too, with that up tilt there. That was pretty pretty juicy. Ant's mm. definitely uh, pulling off some stuff here yeah. tonight. Mm. Yeah, and I saw uh, Ant actually missed a huge opportunity there. He ended up throwing out a jab, and he just wanted to nair the poor guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Yeah, Villager's Nair actually has a bigger hitbox than I thought it did. Yeah, and you can actually be somewhat offensive with that. I was just going to say, you can oh, just like... A multi-hitbox? Uh, I don't think it has a multi-hitbox. It's just the one. Oh, Ooh, there's that Doria. That yep. was actually yep. sick. Yup, 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 yup. That's yep. what I'm talking about, dude. Ganon's so scary, and those F smashes could kill you as early as like 50 to 60%, especially at the ledge, edge of the stage. So that, um, wow, that was definitely a turnaround from Undead, and it looked a lot easier, to be honest, for Ganon. I was playing Squirtle, and I died at, like, 15. Don't ask why I got hit that by, like, a full charge uh, Doria, but I just did. insane. Yeah. What did you do, like, uh, withdraw with the... Oh, that, or oh. <laughs> if you get hit while you're in withdrawal, you just go... Pew! Yeah, you yeah. just, like, fly out, right? Yeah, okay. but, yeah. No, I... I I just died. I just ate the hit. I think I just like overextended my waterfall and I just ended up eating it. That's yeah. pretty terrifying. Yeah. Yeah, Ganon's, <laughs> Ganon's so fun, dude. Yeah, he's a lot of fun. They kind of nerfed his back air just a little bit, but whatever. It's still gonna. Everything kills you. Did they really? It, it, yeah, like the range I didn't of it. See that in the patch. Oh, okay, yeah. The oh, range. not any patch. It was from a uh, Ford Ultimate. Oh, I didn't. When? Wait, when did. Okay, yeah, I didn't even know. That is good to know. Thank you. I had no idea. Mm. Yeah, um, he, this is a good stage for and for sure. Oh, yeah, we got Kalos here. I love this stage. It is beautiful. Yeah, I do like this stage. I, this is one of those stages that made me realize, like, wait a minute. How come, like, it's a huge circle, but they're only going in one linear line? Mm -hmm. It's just something that I was like, okay, I know what this game is. So. Um, yeah, definitely. I don't. It would be cool if they had, like, a 3D type of whole stage where you could kind of go around, kind of make it, like, you know, like Soul Calibur or something. But yeah. Yeah. No, that that Z-axis is probably the closest you're going to get to 3D. <laughs> yeah. Woo, yeah, taking that boot to the All face. Right. Undead, okay. ready, taking uh, the first stock pretty early, too. He's only at a 24% deficit, which is looking really good for him. Um, mm. Ant could definitely bring this back, though. I know Ant has a really strong mentality. And, yeah, look at this. Already bringing him up to 69%, oh, yeah. killing him with the bowling ball. Destroyed. Wow, that was awesome. Yeah, uh, like... Great and, turnaround. And really just needs to be campy. Like, what's Ganon going to do? He's going to telegraph everything that he does as long as Ant is just being safe and smart. Yeah, he's really keeping him out with the slingshot projectile as well. Um, playing a lot more safer at a distance, keeping him out and just not wanting to have Ganon in his face. Yeah. I, I think the challenge of playing Villager is being campy but still maintaining that, that distance to where you can... You can punish. Like you still want to be as close as possible. Hey, yeah, you still wow. want to. You still want to be as close as possible while still maintaining that safe distance. Mm -hmm. It's tough. It's really tough actually playing this character properly. Yeah, and it, it looks a little um, difficult. <laughs> what the heck? That was so awkward. Mm -hmm. um, the tree like stopped him for a second. But I yeah, that it, definitely that bowling ball is what has killed him twice now. It, it's very tricky because Ganon does have that vertical, uh, straight like up recovery, so it makes it. Ooh, okay, he didn't go for the grab there. That wouldn't, what? yeah. Ooh. Wait, he parried a down smash, but what? <laughs> yeah, that How? was all types of kooky. How? <laughs> uh, I thought he was going to go for the down air there, but he ended up getting hit by that invulnerable ledge attack. <gasps> this is the scary. This is the scary. Okay, we make it. Oh, no. 
Oh no. No. That looked like it should have yeah. reached. But yeah, man, that was definitely a really good set. Really close for both players there. Um, and yeah, that was a good turnaround from Ant. He definitely um, was able to gain himself again and just totally just be like, hey, I got to play it a little differently. It's not working out. And he switched it around. Yeah, he adapted. That's some good stuff. And might I say, that gentleman kind of looks like Ryan Reynolds, just a little bit. I don't <laughs> know if I'm the only one who thinks that, but yeah. I mean, yeah, I can see it. I can just, see it a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, that was some good stuff. That was some good stuff. Yeah, that no, was good.